Now, your second part of your question was, you know, what's the significance of this? Well, the significance of the parabola was, um, initially, they used um, a parabola for imaging. And it, Isaac Newton, actually, in 1668, built the first Newtonian reflector. And actually, this is a Newtonian reflector right here, this main part of it. Prior to that, all they had was little refracting telescopes, like this little tiny thing here, where you look through a lens, like a camera lens, or the lens on your, your phone, and, um, and that was where your image came from. But the, the light was passing through glass. And that, you know, because the, the glass obviously is curved to magnify, um, that introduces a little bit of what's called chromatic aberration, which means that it's like a prism. It spreads out the light so that purple doesn't come quite to the same focus as red. And, and Isaac Newton was very interested in this because he had a theory of color. And he thought that passing color through these prisms that he was playing with is what was introducing, is, is um, <clears throat> what was spreading out light into these you know, rainbows that he was looking at. So he thought, well, if we don't go through anything with the light and can get an image, and it doesn't show this smearing out of the colors, the spreading out of the color spectrum into a rainbow, then that will prove my theory of light. So that was really his interest. He wasn't interested in looking at Saturn or Jupiter or something, um, you know, like Galileo. He was just interested in proving his theory. So they already knew, mathematicians already knew that a parabolic shape would produce an image. Rene Descartes, for instance, um, you know, and this is all in the 17th century. A bunch of mathematicians already knew this. The problem is doing it. It was very difficult to do, and actually Isaac Newton had a, a really tough time doing it. And in the end, he didn't use a parabolic shape. He used a spherical one because he just it was tough even making that. But he finally succeeded in doing it. And sure enough, there was no smearing out of the colors, and so he was really happy about it. And, and actually, it was based on um, his Newtonian telescope, not really his probably more advanced work, that got him a fellowship in the Royal Society of London in 1672, I believe. So, <clears throat> the parabolic shape is probably one of the most used shapes in, in imaging systems. Um, you know, things like telescopes, but also radio telescopes, um, the satellite dish um, outside people's homes. Um, these are all paraboloids, which is, I think people call them parabolas anyways, but the three-dimensional thing is a paraboloid. It's the parabola rotated on its axis. The, <clears throat> the um, paraboloid also appears like in your car, your car headlights, or flashlights.